Um, let's start off with the major parts of the brain. I kind of structured the PowerPoint as going from like bigger to smaller. So that's where we're starting. So the forebrain, um, midbrain and hindbrain are the three biggest like group of structures when we're looking at the brain here. Um, so you can see the forebrain is here, the midbrain is this upper portion and the hindbrain is this purple portion at the bottom. So the forebrain is composed of the cerebrum and the limbic system, but also within it, um, it has the hypothalamus and thalamus. And the main functions of the forebrain is for sensory processing. So retrieving signals from the different senses and processing that information for um, the rest of the functions that the body would be doing. Um, the next one would be the endocrine structures, which is you know, associated with hormones and the hypothalamus. Um, finally, with higher reasoning, so thinking um, and processing information as well. Um, the next structure is the midbrain, which um, it's still considered just the, the midbrain, but it's also considered the upper portion of the brainstem. So you hear the light blue portion is the upper part of the brainstem. And that one is responsible for audio visual processing. Next, the hindbrain. Um, it's composed of the pons, medulla, and cerebellum, and it's most responsible for autonomic functions. So, for example, respiratory rhythms and sleep. So these are the major parts. And then now, after that portion, we're going into the cerebral cortex. And a really common um, acronym for knowing the parts of the cerebral cortex are FPOT. So F for frontal lobe, P for parietal lobe, O for occipital lobe, and T for temporal lobe. And these um, lobes are, it's really good to know like the major functions of all of them. And so the frontal lobe is composed of the motor cortex, which is responsible for body movements. Um, and then the prefrontal cortex is responsible for executive functions. And when I mean executive functions, that's like thinking, problem solving, um, supervising and directing like uh, the other parts of, of the brain and, and you know, their interactions with the other parts of the brain. And then um, Broca's area is also within here and it's responsible for speech production. Um, definitely Broca's area, something you guys should keep in mind. <laughs> Um, next is the parietal lobe, so this yellow portion. It's responsible for um, feeling from the somatosensory cortex. And when I say feeling, it's not in the sense of emotions, but feeling as in touching, um, feeling temperature, feeling pressure, and feeling pain. So that's what I mean by feeling in that case. And the parietal lobe is also responsible for spatial processing. So helping you to orient yourself in a space and really understanding the space around you. And then we're gonna go into the occipital lobe, which is responsible for you know, vision. So processing your information that you receive from your eyes. And another feature of the occipital lobe is that it's a striated cortex. So specifically the occipital lobe has um, cells that are striped or striated and it looks a little bit different from the rest of the other lobes. Um, the temporal lobe is responsible for sound. So processing information from your ears. And um, that is definitely associated with the Wernicke's area, which is also in that lobe for language reception and comprehension. Comprehension. 